Well, hello! Welcome back, everybody, to episode one of Commander here on Adventure Tavern. Um, I hope you had an excellent break. You got yourself a snacks or a drinks and that you remembered to take your medication. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, getting back to um, LHS 2.0, own city, where the adventure is starting today. Um, it is now the day after the fateful meeting with uh, Fenris and Tara. Um, you both have... Uh, both, sorry. You all have um, accepted your mission. Uh, you know, cue, cue Mission Impossible music. Um, the... Um, yeah, let's... Where where do you think your characters are birthed in Ohm City? It's a Coriolis station, so it's Ooh. a giant rotating cube with the edges lopped off. <laughs> it's... How big are the stations? They're like, what, four? Four kilometers or so long or something? About they that. that? No, they're not that long. No, about it's about 2k, isn't it? They're, yeah, they're pretty still, big, they're, though. They're huge. Um... So two kilometers uh, in American is about a mile and a bit. Um, okay. Yeah, they're huge. And Birth means like where we're parked at? Um, not where you're parked, where you yourselves are staying, sleeping, um, that kind of stuff. Oh, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think, so... I think we'd probably be somewhere towards the... So towards the bottom end of the habitation? Yeah, well, each each one of your characters will make that choice independently, and it really depends on how much money you want to spend on accommodation. Um, so you can you can get some cheap low gravity units um, for a couple of credits a week. <laughs> you know that a little more than a bunk, a private toilet, shower unit, and somewhere to. Um, to heat up some food in a uh, in a microwave. Um, if you're lucky, you might even have a coffee machine. Um, going all the way to palatal um, sweets, right at the edge where the gravity is the highest, um, with an expansive view of the stars outside. I mean, I don't see any reason why I just wouldn't sleep on my ship. They won't. They wouldn't I let you. <laughs> it won't let Safe, me? Yeah, no, they wouldn't let you. Safety, safety can precautions on the pad. Can, can oh, yeah, I bring yeah, you could, you could absolutely bring room? You could, you could absolutely bring the cats. Alrighty, uh, that, wouldn't, um, that wouldn't be a problem as long as they were, you know, kept on a leash as they were being walked through the station or in a cat carrier or whatever. Um, yeah, I just be... need a place to heat up my noodle bowls and uh, not much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, this thing's itself off. Thank you. Um, damn it. There we are. Uh, Mara, Saskia, Jackson? I would mm. definitely be mo most comfortable anywhere where there are people kind of milling about outside. Uh, lower end, definitely not mm -hmm. looking to spend too many credits. As long as I yeah. have privacy for myself while I'm sleeping and feel secure, I'm happy. Oh yeah, um, Ohm City is a is in a high security system. Yeah, so uh, um, with that in mind, I literally as long as she is in a place where she doesn't have to share with other people that she doesn't oh, yeah, know, no, she's you, happy. It would, it would be yeah, you you could you could easily all of you could easily afford a private berth with your especially with the payouts you had from your last job, mm. um, uh, where you got to know each other best for the first time. Where the heck is my? There you are. Um, Yes, the, um... Oh, man, brain. No, nope, it's gone. <laughs> it's completely gone. Oh, well. So, um, you have just got a, um, a ship registration number. Um, it's not a, it's not a... A dreadfully uncommon one either annoyingly however um they were based in this starport as a home system um so you have a uh 
a starting point at least, in that you are exactly placed in the right location to start asking questions. Now, the important part of this is where are you going to ask those questions and to whom? So Saskia would like to try and find the medical facilities on this station to mm. see if there's if I can get access to any records and see if there is a well, this registration yeah. listed against any visitors yeah. um, as far back as records go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so Sasuke is going to the Ned Bay. It wouldn't be a med bay actually on a station this size. It would be a bloody hospital, wouldn't it? Goodness. Mm -hmm. um, okay, hospital. Um, all right, uh, Ellie Mara Jackson. Hmm. I think uh, Jackson. I don't know. I think he's going to go and ask ask around at the dock workers because they get to see things. Okay. And. Um, may have looser lips than the security <laughs> personnel. Got you. I will have gone to find Ellie and yep. kind of, not physically, but like clung on to her a little bit. Like, so where are we going? What do we, what do we want to, what are we doing next? Well, I imagine I was going to hit up the oldest restaurant here and uh, grab myself a bowl of noodles. That sounds amazing. Can I come? Yeah, let's get some noodles, girl. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so you two are noodles. <laughs> noodles. Noodles. Outstanding. Um, okay, so... Uh, now... Uh, this is a part where I'm going to have to ask everyone to roleplay amongst yourselves for a few moments whilst I look up a rule. <laughs> so, um, have you have you all um, got in touch with each other at, at some point this morning um, to coordinate? Or are you sort of acting independently? And we have a group hmm. chat like a mobile type thing but on our oh, comms yeah, absolutely. system you've, you've got comms on you because i feel you're... like i would just send out a bunch of emojis or the yeah. 3303 equivalent of emojis <laughs> the emojis totally exist like... still you've got 07 <laughs> for goodness sake you yeah. you have there is definitely a salute emoji in there but everyone's still I literally types just 07. send like a salute emoji and a cup of coffee and mernin <laughs> 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 Oh, I hate that now. She said, good morning. Um, and Ellie sends back, like, like, a gif of a man, like, trying Are to wake up. you two stood right next to each other? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're we're yeah, going to go get noodles, but we don't want to be rude. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I was like, it's like, Mara and I are going to go get noodles. Anyone want to come? Crash mark and then sends it off. And I'm, like, nudging well, you, like, do I have to reply since we already know I'm coming anyway? Yeah, no, no, I don't think you have. I think that's like needless, you know. Okay. So I'm just fiddling with my calm system. I'm heading to hospital, uh, medical records, possibly disarray, less security question mark. Anyone needs spleen whilst there? Winky face, <laughs> tongue out face. We <laughs> 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 can only thank you for this. Ah, we can use it. We can sail it. Read spleen, but man, <laughs> I'm I'm heading to I'm heading to docks to talk to the workers. Oh man, I feel bad. They're so productive already. We're just getting nude. You know what? But but you can't be detecting detectives on an empty stomach. You know, no. I'm just gonna get cranky while I'm trying to finagle somebody, and it's not gonna work out. You know, absolutely. So it's like, so it's like we gotta get the noodles in order for us to then go talk to somebody. Yep, that seems that that seems believable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're not slackers. We're hard workers. Work smart, not hard. I learned that somewhere. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, bro, that's good. That's good. I think my dad said something like that. I don't know. Ooh, I should add that to the letter. Dad, have you told me to work harder and not, you know, work? Work smart. A working <laughs> foible. Fate, fate, fable? No. What is that? T turn a phrase. Turn a phrase. There we go. Mm. There we go. Adding it to the letter. <laughs> Um, no. All right. I can't find a rule for this, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Hey! Uh, yeah. Oh, no worries. Um, so. Um, let's start with Jackson. Um, the dock area of the station is busy. It's really busy. It's 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 one of the busiest stations in Bubble, um, and because of that, there are a lot of people employed here. Um, the state, even though this is a federally aligned system, it's a remarkably well-paid position um, for you know. For me, what could be described as menial, um, but anyone who has worked a labor job mm -hmm. for any length of time will quickly tell someone else that there is no such th thing as unskilled labor. Um, even if it's just lifting stuff up and putting it somewhere else, there is a... Um, there is a skill to it. Someone who has just started will be worse. Um, so. Where are you going to start with? Um, oh, um, if we're looking, if I'm, well, if I'm looking for um, a, like a VIP, VIP ship, I would probably start at one of the larger docking bays. Okay. So, you know, something that would take um, anaconda, cutter, that, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, a, a large pad. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, uh, yeah, the, um, oh, last. Yes, that's what I was doing. Uh, I got distracted. Some... Now, um, I send it. The, um, yeah, the, uh, the large pads are spread out around the interior of the station for those mm -hmm. who, um, don't um, who aren't familiar with the the interior of the stations in the uh, Coriolis station has um, ooh, what's a, what's a twelve sided shape called? Ooh. Do I du duo des des something? Yeah, twelve twelve sides mm -hmm. where the landing pads are on the inside of a cylinder, um, and the large pads are spread out. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, um... Mm, yeah. Finding them is easy enough. Which one are you gonna go to first? Uh... Oh, wow. this, yeah, let me have probably, a look. I know probably one from... that's, around, yeah. it's, that's somewhere central in the docking bay, because VIPs yeah. don't want to walk very far. Oh, no, this is very... Oh, yeah, good, good call. Very good call. Okay, uh, if memory serves me correctly, pad four zero is a large pad, uh, and as the GM, I'm going to rule pad four zero is in fact the one closest to VIP um, VIP uh, facilities. Um, you know, it's at the back of the station. Uh, you don't have to go through all of the all of the crowds um, of um, folks to get um to where you want to be going um yeah, there we go 
The... Currently... Let's roll for it. Currently, let's see if there's a ship. No. There's currently oh. no ship at Pad 40. So you can... Um, for sure... Start mooching around and asking questions. Mm. Now... This is over to you somewhat. Okay. So let's see. Or where's it gone? Where is your people? Roll twenties. Roll twenties been doing me a grave disservice today. In horridly, horribly. All right, perfect. Hmm. Okay. Now, there's hmm. uh, because the dock itself is empty. None of the dock hands will be at the dock. Mm -hmm. um, they are probably going to be. Um, nearby in um, uh, the billings or in the canteen or in nearby social venues um, or lounging around um, to you where you would like to go amongst those mm -hmm. alright anyone, lo anyone lounging around like um in the docking bay area, you know, someone, you know, clearly, you know, take it, take it five. Well, uh, before oh, another yeah, ship absolutely. arrives, like, there's, kind of there's there's a couple of groups, a um, mm. couple of groups of uh, men and women, um, chatting, um, snacking, uh, sat down. Um, there are there are some um, some folks going around uh, tidying up as well. Um, Right, where's my NPCs? They are. See who's there. Oh no. Yeah, you. you so I can actually read you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. All right then. They are. Uh, mm -hmm. See. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Now, there are. Um, there's there's two groups. Uh, one group of two ladies, and another group of um, uh, of two men and another woman. Um. Both are chatting amongst themselves. There are a few other dock workers around moving cargo and cleaning up. Hmm. Okay, um, probably go to the second group first. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. so... Uh, right. Yeah, there is a, um, a very fit-looking... Um, lady, she is ooh, 175 centimeters. Um, you you can see she she bench presses, uh, mm. probably entire cargo pods in her spare time. <laughs> yeah, um, tan skin, um, dark hair. Um, there is uh, the first male, uh, stocky build, really tall. Another dude who looks like he uh, could punch through walls um, without uh, cybernetic enhancement. Uh, very pale-skinned, uh, also black hair. And the final final male is really skinny-looking guy. Uh, tan skin, black hair as well. Um, really piercing blue eyes. Um, and they are lounging around, chatting, snacking. Um, let's have a look. How obvious are you being about this? Um... Yeah, they have, they have definitely clocked you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Approaching. So... Yeah, well, um, can you... Trying to, trying to approach casually, but not, not intimidating. Um, okay, cool. You know, kind of wandering around, looking, looking like I'm lost. 
okay. you know, kind, of, kind of thing. Yeah, uh, let's have a look at your social skills. Um, this isn't a frontier environment, I'm afraid. Let me check, actually, to see. Ooh, hey. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is not a frontier environment, you know, mm. home city being one of the busiest systems in the bubble. <laughs> it's a very metropolitan, very busy, uh, very busy place. Um, and, uh, yeah, this group pause for a second as they see you, as they see this cyborg man approaching. Kind of twig, twig, uh, twig amongst themselves. Yeah. Good af afternoon, afternoon, gents, ma'am. Oh, uh, hi. Can can we help you? Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the the really the really tall the really tall big chap uh, addresses you. Um, yeah, oh, I'm. I'm Feeling kind of lost at the moment. I've I seem to have lost my way out to the uh, out to the billings here. Um, there's a bit of quite a maze back there of um, passages and junctions. And oh, you ain't you I've, ain't I think you I've ain't, kind of gone the you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong there at all. Um, all right, give me. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, I think. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, give me dis diplomacy, please. Uh, you get plus one mm -hmm. from your military background for this. Right. Uh, so I put mm. a tick in the box for the mod one, is it? Uh, I don't actually know. How do we do uh, that? No, the tick is the first time you use a skill during a session. Um, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's for everybody, by the way. Um... Please do check those. Um, oh, so, we yeah, hang on, mod, which ones did we do before? Um, your mod is... So I need to tick perception, don't uh, I? Yes. Right. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, nailed it. Um, yeah, your... Um, I don't... Yeah, it's just going to roll straight, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll just do uh, detail yeah, plus do, one. Yeah, yeah, do that. And we'll compare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, where where are you trying to get to? Oh, well, I, I got I got rooms on uh, sector fifteen. Um, oh man, I, I, you I, are I way out I've of your way. Long way off. You uh get the wrong get the wrong turbo turbo lift. Something like that. I've, I've been walking a long way here, and I'm, yeah, something like that. But hey, this is this is this is a busy operation you got down here. Man, it don't let up. Let me tell you about that. Oh, I bet. So, how many, so you must get hundreds of ships through here a day, right? Well, not on this pad. Uh, larger ships are not quite as common as the smaller ones, and. Uh, we get assigned to the different pads, different days. Today we're here, uh, but uh, yeah, he's um. Give me uh, yeah. I'll have an insight check off you as well, please. Uh, what I need to do. The previous one was diplomacy, wasn't it? Should I? Yeah. Tick? I need to tick that. Yep, you right. need to tick that one off as well. Right. Uh, what was this next one? Insight. Insight. Uh, mm -hmm. Go. Oof. Well, the good news is I rolled a one. <laughs> 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 Look at this. And it's oh, literally wow. the only reason I was asking for the rolls to see if you rolled a one as well. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, this, this man is deeply suspicious of you and your motives. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I remember starting off in the Navy in uh, somewhere like this. It's uh, hard work, but honorable work. Oh, you were in the Navy? Where were you posted? Uh, I made my way out to uh, FNS Hood. Uh, we, we ended up all, oh. over the, all over the galaxy. We were down to the Pleiades, back to the back into the inhabited systems. Well, we covered some ground. 
Man, that must have been a hell of a posting. Mm, yeah. Bet the food was absolute garbage, though. What were you telling me? So, anything yeah. I've had here is um, luxury in comparison. Oh, I bet. Uh, don't mind me asking, is that how he got the arm? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's, um, well, let me, let me, uh, let me just say that an exploding plasma rifle is not something oh, I would recommend man. you holding. Uh, you yeah. know, it's, um, it's kind of painful. God's above. Um, yeah, for sure. It, le it lets me know when it's, uh, cold outside, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, plenty cold out in the black, but keep down here at a cool 18 degrees Celsius. Mm. Yeah, this, this is this is this is kind of nice. So yeah, that's why that's why we're that's why we're here waiting for the next ship to come in. Uh, it's it'll probably probably be in the next twenty minutes or something. You you'd have to be gone by then. Do you? Uh, uh, hang on one second. Ooh. So uh, you ain't really lost, are you? You're you're here <laughs> snooping. What do you want to know? Am I that obvious? <laughs> I'm afraid so. I'm mm -hmm. afraid so, my man. I need to work you're, on that. You're real bad at that. <laughs> his, two, his two colleagues just burst out laughing. Well, what I, well, what I really want to know is that we, we've heard rumors that some VIP has been, been through. Um, they arrived yet? Yeah, well, probably been some fancy shit. Anything oh, fancy landed? Uh, yeah, Imperial uh, Imperial Cutter. But mm. uh, anyone in the docking bay would have seen that. I don't know who it was, and even if I did, I wouldn't be telling some stranger, even if you were Federal Navy. Yeah, well, of course not. That would be classified. Absolutely. No, uh, our VIP yesterday called a bit of a ruckus um yeah we we weren't expecting that they docked here and uh uh they needed the bay clear so no. we didn't get a good look at them if that's what you're asking hmm well that could be that it sounds useful so do we, do we... What was the... Do, do we know the registration of that ship? Oh, of that particular ship? Of course. Um, hang on, let me find it for you. It's public information anyway. You'd be able to search for this. Uh, Say, so he brings out sort of like a sort of big data slate sort of thing. Yeah. Swipes through a bit. Uh, yeah, this was... Um, oh, man, Imperial Navy even. Goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. That kind of thing. Shark. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, IN 94214. Hmm. Well, well, thank, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that, sir. You have been I, um, um, hopefully most helpful. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. So. Just don't go assassinating anyone on our watch, all right? Oh no, well, we're definitely not into that. Well, that's good. I ain't either. Well, not unless they pay us plenty of money, and they're not <laughs> paying us. And they're not paying us enough. <laughs> no, I don't think I'd do it, even if they did pay me a ton of money. <laughs> Too much trouble for my tastes. Well, well, uh, we shall, we shall see. I can, I can look that. Uh, I can look that one up myself. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I very much doubt it, but yeah. What's your What's your name, Mister? So, uh, Jackson West, at your service, sir. All right, uh, Peter Dugan. Been a pleasure. Pleasure and, to meet you, Peter. Uh, you'd uh, better skedaddle now. We're gonna be expecting some cargo hauling in soon. Don't want uh, civilians as you are now in the bay whilst we do that. Uh, indeed not. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't want to get you into trouble. Uh, thank thank you again. It's been uh, it's been good talking to you. I'll buy you a drink right. in the bar. I think see you again. Ah, uh, thank you very much. I'll hold you to that if I see you. <laughs> you certainly will. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um. 
Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all right. And um, yeah, he um, he shoes you away uh, out of the out of the docking area. Um, okay. Right. We shall now join Saskia at the uh, at the Ohm City Hospital. Saskia, what's your plan? Wow. The, hosp the hospital is um, centrally located. Uh, there are two, uh, a larger one and a smaller one, um, at opposite sides of the uh, of the cylinder. Uh, in the docking in the docking bay near the near the center, it's not too. The larger one isn't too far away from the commander's concourse. Um, the the lifts um, will take you there if you punch that in as a destination. I would like to go visit the larger one on the assumption yep. that someone who would turn out to be such an important person and their friend would likely have registered with the largest, most important hospital if they needed it. Yeah. Uh, okay. How are you planning to walk your way in? Oh, off to reception to introduce mm. myself as, of course, Dr. Saskia Tarun, and that I have inherited a patient, uh, though I am lacking in records, and I would like to try and locate such patient because their benefactors, their bosses are worried about them, yet I only have the ship registration. Uh, may I please ah. try and find the records uh, pertaining to that ship and its owner? Okay. I'm gonna As need in... some tests from you. <laughs> For sure. Alright, oh, yeah. so um All right, what's your medic what's your medical score? Let's have a look. There you are. Yes. Medicine is currently uh, forty, yes. Oof. yes. Right, I will have luff, but um, if you... This will be a bluff check, but using your medicine mod. Um, so... Glasses oh. are filthy. And... Uh, yeah, if you roll medicine, but check off bluff. Okie dokie. Yeah. Ooh. Yikes. Now! You have a pool of karma points, and you can spend mm. karma points any time you like to re-roll a one. Would you I like would to do like that? I would like to do that, yes, <laughs> I please. I thought you might. <laughs> Don't right, tell so me now, roll off. 20. Yeah, check off a... Um... Oh, man. Okay. Uh... Well, Dr. Taran, um, we don't have anybody tied to a ship registration, and we're gonna need either a patient number or a name. Um, now your benefactor, I'm sure they will be understanding, uh, well, sort out an official correspondence for them. Um, but we can't, uh, can't get those records just from that info, I'm afraid. Hmm. Now, is that a case of um, not enough computer cycles or people available for such a thing? Or is it more of a um, procedural issue here? Because I am willing to spend my time and uh, not to bother you with this personally if you just let me uh, run through those documents those uh, those databases he, he shows you a he sort of turns the screen a little and you can see a like a flashing red exclamation point on and he mm -hmm. shakes his head Don't if you, you uh, catch catch my drift hmm so, if I was to, uh, is there a point of contact I can set up with yourself, uh, of to course. which my employee and benefactor can speak to, and they can get this all cleared up? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they um, won't mind being well, bothered. Well, it, it ain't gonna be me personally. Let me, uh, let me patch you th 
he sort of goes through the uh, turns the screen back around um, starts typing this is a um, this is a this is a light keyboard it's a um, laser that's projected onto a surface um, and starts typing his way through uh, through that uh, to um, to get the particular uh, people that you would need, uh, or your benefactor would need, to liaise with an, in a more official capacity. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, yes. fantastic. And uh, could you copy across those uh, contact details to my um, to my pad, please? Now I want of, to warn them of beforehand, course. of course, so they're expecting it. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me encrypt this for you. I'll give you the encryption key in just a moment. Cycles it through, zips it up, encrypts the thing, uh, zip, zaps it over to your pad as you sort of wirelessly hold it close, and uh, verbally gives you the encryption key. It's only eight characters long, um, and uh, also gives you the, the usual stern warnings about patient confidentiality. Um, and uh, proced procedural... Uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Procedural um, integrity. Of course, of course. Okay. Well, thank you very kindly for your help today. Oh, you're you're most welcome, Doctor. I hope you can get this sorted out. But uh, sorry, I can't be of more assistance. Ooh, not at all. I'm just as frustrated as you are. You know how oh, these man, things are tell with records it. and whatnot. Well, best of luck. I hope your benefactor can get the information they need. Uh, pleasure speaking to you. Have a good day. And uh, you, uh, Mr. Doctor? Um, it is uh, Dr. Breeson. Dr. Uh, Breeson. Well, Matt. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, are you going to try anything else? Right, so via secured messaging to the Pilots Federation uh, contact, um, Felis Ferris, Ferris, Fenris. Fenris. Yeah. Uh, I want to send a message explaining this approach and that. Mm, okay. um, Additional information required to unlock records, which could point us in the correct direction. Are you able to directly ah, to face okay. with the people without letting me know the details? Keep it all secure, above board. That's fine. I just need yeah. access to that record. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I will have a diplomacy check from you. Yes. Of course, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Okay, so that's a natural 10 for an 11. Uh, my DC for that was like 8. <laughs> so, pretty, pr a pretty tough one. Um, yeah, uh, a few moments later, he, um, he gives you a uh, encrypted message back uh, on the comm. Um, just, sure, leave it with me. Uh, see what I can do. Um... Anything else you'd like to try? Right. Um, so once I'm at the you don't hospital. have to if you don't if you don't want to. But um, before we conclude with Saskia, I just want to make sure you've got no other plans. I didn't have any in mind at the moment. Okay. Well, nothing uh, legal anyway. I mean, you can try illegal stuff if you want. <laughs> Not at this stage. But As, okay. The yeah. Is that. If you, yeah, if you're willing to accept the consequences of it going wrong. Okay, that's fine though. Um, awesome. Let's uh, let's swap over to Ellie and Mara. Um. So. Uh, I'm also going to swap over the music, and because this is a new soundtrack, I don't know everything. So I've just got to look up. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, okay. 
let's go for that. Hopefully this will be suitable. Okay, cool. Now, uh, yeah, um, was it? I didn't write this down. Was it the? Was it an expensive noodle shop you were going to, or just the nearest? An expensive noodle shop. Ooh, okay. Expensive and old. Expensive. Ah, expensive and old. Nice. Um, yeah, there's a. There's probably a couple around. Um. You going to the near one or the far one? I could imagine that there's probably a couple on a station this size um, that serve noodles. I don't think um, that noodles is like the only thing they do, but if you'd have asked around, you would have for sure, um, you know, you've been here for a couple of months now, you would have for sure been able to scope out where is good in the, in in this uh, in this sense. Um, yeah. I would have um, stopped the locals within a month or so and kept mm -hmm. asking them which is the best noodle place and yep. compiled all those results and gone to the local favorite, expensive and old one. Mm. Hey. I feel me. like this might have also been a semi-regular thing that like, we would go and find something nice to eat. Yeah. Sometimes oh, it's the same yeah, place over and sure. over again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay, cool. Um, so, I mean, Mara, um, are you sure you're, you're okay going to going to this place again? We did eat there last week. I really like their noodles, so I think I'll I okay. think I'll survive. Yeah. This is, um... Okay, I mean, <laughs> you you know the, that that thing of like you ask your friend if you want to do something and like they say yes and you weren't too sure if it was them saying yes because they want to go or them saying yes because like <laughs> you know they didn't want to stir up any Ellie, trouble i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really have a lot of experience with friends so i i don't really know what that's like i mean neither do i but like my papa did tell me all about um interactions of the social can mm. that's yeah. useful i'm mm -hmm. fine i yeah, want noodles it's okay yeah okay yeah. this is uh yeah this is uh fruna and orciel's um extraordinary uh foodstuffs um <laughs> that uh that you're you're in at the moment um Man, and yeah this... it's the food it's the foodstuffs in the title that really gives me confidence. This place is great. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite is that they have beef, chicken, and meat. And I don't know what the meat is. Yeah, me either. <laughs> it's good though. Yeah, this is this is, it is um, really good. This is yeah, this this is actually quite a posh quite a posh establishment. Um but they, they sort of deliberately kind of slum it up, as it were. It's sort of fake. Um, low class, if that makes sense, sort of fake street food, but the place is pristine. You know, you sort of, right. you sort of got like jagged wooded wooden effect tables. They're really metal um, that look like they're coupled together, but you get close and you realize, ah, it's just a, it's just a wrap around it. And mm. oh yeah, the place is is almost as spotless as Fenris's office. <laughs> Um, you, you, you're straight up never going to get food poisoning at a place like this. Um, Good. I, uh, how many times have you guys been here before? About once a week for the past month, so I guess four times. Okay, nice. Yeah, they, they probably they probably recognize you. Um, so, um, the uh, the waiter who's who's dressed looking like some random street urchin but the the costume you can tell is actually super high quality <laughs> um and uh it comes along to, to take your orders i'll have my usual and in this i assuming it's the same person or that i've at least yeah. been served by this yeah, person before sure. and my usual will be uh the meat, i.e. we don't know what it is, uh, but noodles in broth with meat. 
Yeah, and they, they nod their head, then they uh, tap it into their pad, and it turns to Ellie. Um, can I have the uh, soba noodles with the tempura shrimp, please? Oh, and um, nods, and uh, scarf is off. Thank you, thank you. And All right. yeah, it's 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 super quiet in here at the moment. This this time of day isn't usually their busiest. It's usually it's usually busier around lunchtime, especially in the evening. Um when it when it starts to really liven up. Alright, so this is what I figured. Uh Mara, now this wasn't just a noodle shop run. There's another reason why I wanted to come here. Okay. I, I figure if somebody's local, right, say stationed here, right, mm -hmm. they would have come here before and they would have told their friend about how great this place is, right? All the locals love it mm -hmm. and it's been popular for a long time. So we got to keep our eyes out. And then um, ask on, I want to look up the VIP, what they look like on my like sleep computer. Ooh. Okay, let me, uh, let me swap up the music room. I'm like um, hunching over to look as well. Yeah. Saw this now. on his, on his notes. You need to, you cannot say a word. I am, we are not supposed to know this. That's okay. I, I, I will tell no one. All right, okay. Great. Awesome. Um, yeah. Um, very fit, slender, um, female, early twenties, um, about uh, one meter seventy-five tall, fair hair, blonde. Uh, yeah, sorry, fair skin, blonde hair. There we go. <laughs> I got that the wrong way around. <laughs> um, blonde skin. And um, yeah, you can you can you can tell um, that they have cybernetic eyes um, from the. Uh, from the photos that you you uh, managed to acquire of them, hmm. um, uh, and I'm... yeah, they uh, they are a fairly recent addition to the Imperial Senate. Aha! Uh -huh. Now yep. I do want to see if there's like any party photos of them when they were younger, and see if I can uh, find a close friend of theirs. How good is your Google foo? Uh, I have pretty good Google Foo, Ooh. so I'm happy to do some searching, and I'll pull okay. up my like pad to have a look. Yeah. So also this think... is um yeah you'd be looking for um Jala Armager, okay. very very recent addition to the Imperial Senate, of all things. Okay. Um, and where's your skills? Okay. Oh, that's music. Now is um, is Ellie going to give Mara a hand with this? Yeah, absolutely. Spot on. Okay, so uh, because I can't find the rules for it, I'm just going to hand wave it for now, and uh, I'm going to borrow a, um, a doofer from Dark Heresy for this. I'm going to give you plus two for Ellie's assistance. Okay. Uh, and I will have, please, either a computer, uh, culture and law, or planetary knowledge. Okay. Computer. Okay, so add two to that. You're looking at a nine. Um, and that's... Yeah, that's a twelve. Nice. Uh, yeah. I did some um, Googling. <laughs> yeah, lots. I... You, yeah. Um, and, yeah, there's 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 plenty of um, info that you can find from local news channels, you know, sort of Empire news that gets posted to the uh, to the hollow papers uh, and, and so forth. Nothing in Galnet. Um, this this person isn't a huge political mover, at least not enough that the Pilots' Federation care about them. Um, 
and yeah you can you can find a few um you know sort of social media uh, posts a few news items of this uh, lady when she was a kid and when she was a teenager how far back are you looking um let's go back 11 years okay 11's very specific let's do it yeah um yeah with with your nine um you can find us have a look how many photos do you find how much oh dear how much information do you acquire the answer is alas not a great oh. deal but um you do find um the uh the young girl in the pilot seat of a ship uh, in a dock looking not too dissimilar to this very starport um, and yeah it, you are both pretty sure that that is an imperial courier she's sat in okay all right hmm already now here's the thing just crop out we just want a screenshot crop out the fine the fine senator crop them out and we ask if anybody knows anything about this person we get a name we tell everybody else we're golden we'll figure this out lickety split okay okay and i'm like trying to kind of crop i've taken a yeah. screenshot and i'm trying to crop the image okay. down so Give me both, please, a perception test. Okay. Oh, I've never wanted to roll any better on a perception test than right now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, oh. I'll ask you both if you have any karma abilities that you can leverage for this. Uh, let me look. Your failed roll the Wi-Fi would drop out for sure. Roll for Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make them roll for MS Paint. <laughs> Fumble. Oops, I um, drew a spider. Mm. <laughs> so I only have one ability. Mm -hmm. That would be anywhere near this. It's called Liar Liar. I can tell if somebody is lying at the cost of two karma points. Mm. I don't no, know it wouldn't if be that's useful for this one. Right now. No, not I've for this. I've got nothing yeah. that would really help. No. Okay. okay. Um, and then there's worse than it looks, but that's about it. No. Um, alas, Dang. no further information for you. Dang. No. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's um, fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now then, how long are you going to do your social handrings and stuff? And also. Um, are you letting the other two know? I would update them, I think, with, uh, without being very specific, because I'd be, I'd be a little bit paranoid that someone might have access to our group chat. So I would be just kind of sending, like, the eagle has landed kind of messages, but about what we've been doing and that, you know, oh, well, we haven't found too much, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, I, I also... mean, it's not dreadfully descriptive. You fly an eagle. Yes, I know. <laughs> not literally an eagle has landed, but that kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> um, I also want to want to show the picture of the cropped person to our waiter and be like, yeah. hey, have you ever seen this person around? Okay. Uh, I suppose I've got to give you a description of the waiter now, haven't I? All right. Let's grab them. Okay, one second. It is a lady. Which lady is it? It is... Ah, it's Tara. Damn it, Tara. <laughs> no, it's, it's T Tara Moonlighting. No, it's not. <laughs> um, okay, so this is... Uh, yeah, uh, it is um, Arith Washi. It's her name. Um, I think you probably have had a chat with this with this lady before. Uh, she is uh, fair skinned, grey hair, grey eyes, um, and um, 
Thank you. Uh, late twenties. Um, fairly slim. Um, and as she, she is exactly the sort of person who you would want to look like if you were, if you were blending into a crowd. Um, and she's probably seen a lot if she kept her eyes open. Uh huh. Well, let's see if she has seen anything. All right, chat amongst yourselves for a sec. I need to look something up. All right. We could go to a bar after this, if we've got time. We could go to a bar. We could also go, now that we have a picture and that they're a pilot, we could also go to the engineers, too. I was going to ask, do you, do you know, do you think maybe the people down at the docks would know anything? Or, like, maybe some mechanics? You know Phyllis? how to talk to those people. We can talk to Phyllis. I've been chomping at the bit to meet her. A woman in my field. Be mm. great. We could definitely um, talk to some people. Yeah. yeah. Now, the good news is... We also got to meet up with Saskia and uh, Jackson. Yeah, the good news is um, that uh, they recognize this person. Um, they've been working here for a while. Um, yeah, they were a, they were a pilot, and um, they came in every so often. Um, unmistakable, though. Uh, now, where's the description we got here? Oh, perfect. Yeah, the um, this uh, this person is. Um, also fair, fair, uh, fair skinned, uh, blonde hair, um, and uh, yeah, they also have uh, cybernetic eyes. Uh, very fit, uh, quite tall. Um, and uh, yeah, they were they were a pilot, but um, they never gave their name or their call sign um at least that she can remember she doesn't mm -hmm. offer her apologies for that but um yeah she uh she remembers uh remembers him fairly well always used to eat quite a lot hmm that's okay uh do you, d did they ever bring anybody in as like a guest <laughs> Or, like, hang out with anybody, or, you know, give you any suggestions about another local place they liked? Well, this is a, this is a fine roll for you, let me tell you that. That's a zero. <laughs> uh, so that's a ten. Um, zeros on d10s are, count as, count as your ten. Um, oh yeah. Um, yeah, you, um... Yeah, she 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 tells you that came in with a kid a couple of times, um, came in with uh, a couple of ladies more than once, occasionally different ladies, um, and uh, had very few professional friends. Always used to be huh. kind of social circles and locals. And um, she assumes the kid was uh, a, a relation of, uh, of some sort because they they uh, they used they used to get like cake and um, you always used to see uh, she always used to see them um, chatting and laughing and giggling and the child occasionally had homework. Huh. Ow. Um, the kid, what did the kid look like? Oh, she, uh, yeah, she was like, oh, uh, fair hair and, uh, blonde like him. Um, don't think he was the dad, though. Uh, yeah. you know, you, you know you get when sort of fatherly vibes from someone? Uh, that yeah. weren't there. 
Uh, but they weren't no, like, creepy, old man, young child sort of vibes either, you know? That kind of... Was that more like an older brother or an uncle? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of thing. Somebody's uncle did die. <laughs> Wait. Somebody's well, it, uncle it doesn't died. all have to be to do with someone's uncle dying, Ellie. It might not have been. But wait, did wait did this guy die? Oh no, no. We don't think so. I don't think so. You're speculating oh, he's dead. Yeah. Well, well let's hope he ain't. Uh, he was um, nice. Now, I haven't seen him for a few years though. Yeah. Now these ladies were they the um? How do I put this delicately? Um, the working type? The, yeah, the working type. Uh, I didn't get that suspicion from from him. Okay. But How long's it been, would I, you say, since you've seen him? Oh, about Roughly. three years, maybe. Mm. He used to tip okay. real good. Hmm. <laughs> One of those, then. <laughs> Uh, yep. I suppose so, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. Mm, he seemed like a decent man, but I ain't gonna judge. You know him if he wants to spend his credits on the company of ladies. You know what I mean? But that's fair. Yeah, no, no judgment. I mean, no, no. You got work. You got eat. Absolutely. Um. But, uh, yeah. Uh, no, he was real nice. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for your help and your information. Oh, I do appreciate welcome. you. Yes, and for I the got noodles. Your, I got your food coming mm -hmm. real quick. Uh, I'm excited. I'll be with you in a couple of moments. Uh, I gotta mm -hmm. clean some tables and sort out some more customers. Thank you. Thank you for your time, ladies. Thank you. And she disappears off and starts running around after other customers and things um so uh Saskia and Jackson are you heading up to the noodle shop after your searches or are you meeting somewhere else be up the noodle you. gang <laughs> I think we'd be hungry so we'll head up to the noodle shop okay some lunch yeah. sounds good yeah, I think I think let's uh, let's have the um, Jackson and Saskia meeting meeting up previously and walking mm. up to the walking up to the noodle shop. This is this is a real nice part of town, so you can you can see sort of chilled out security, you know, hands behind their backs strolling around. It's quite it's quite busy out. People doing shopping, trading wares, um, some. Uh, uh, Ship maintenance stuff, um, you know, few few warehouses down. Um, it's it's not far from not far from the sort of confluence between housing and uh, and docking, like the commercial district in between. Um, so yeah, uh, over to you. Hey. I see um, them I'm coming in and be like. <laughs> oh, hey, Saskia! Hey, Jackson! Hello, hello. There hello. You hello. Go to the I have choice. I am stopped. Mm. I have fully yelled Oops. their names across this nice restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I feel like we would have a table that had spare seats in case they hello? arrived in time. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like I say, it's it's not it's not dreadfully busy this time of day anyway. So, um, you you probably you probably have like a couple of couple of customers scattered about who sort of look up when you make a bit of noise and carry on chatting amongst themselves. Um. Uh, yeah. We'll assume we'll assume that you you get in get in your orders and stuff as well as you as you come in. So I didn't get anything immediately or specific from the hospital, but I have set in motion uh, some communications which will let us know if there's anything in the databases to give us more information on our 
missing patient, shall we say, all up aboard so far. But if that fails, I'm not quite sure where to take it other than, of course, you know, jacking the uh, station records themselves mm. for the docking records. But you if know. you do need help with that, I can probably help just letting you know. But I didn't say mm. that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No one's suggesting we do anything like that yet. Um, but you know, you know. I'm looking uh, very, like, have. cartoony conspiratorial right now. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have from everybody, please? Oh. You won't get to check box this one, because um, it's not appropriate to the actual skill, but it's the best one I can think of to roll against. I would like a spaceship piloting test from you. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Ouch. Mm. Ouch. Please, please. It, mm. Oh, good grief. That's um, karma. Right. I'm going to get karma, karma that one. Let me spend okay. a karma point on yeah. that one. Knock off a point of karma, re-roll it. <laughs> that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Now, oh my the good God. news is you can spend another point of karma to re-roll that one as well if you like. Oh, I think God. roll 20 is trying to tell me something, so... Um, Let it roll. And, and you, Let it you've go. got like mm. eight karma left, and we've probably got about thirty minutes of show. So, I, I will take the damn hint. Yeah. Okay. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd give it a go. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> roll twenty, please. That's just rude. Goodness. I mean, it's we, better than a we, one. We, yeah, it is. Uh, however, it doesn't beat the DC. Taco. Oh. Yours does. Um, hey. Yeah. Uh, actually, what did, um, it... Oh, oh no, Mara, yours does as well. Yes! Um, yeah, the Noodle moment... Gang. The Noodle moment Noodle that Saskia wins. says docking records, you realize that you could also try pestering the flight control. Hmm. Flight control could also be another option before we resort to getting our hands dirty with a little bit of crime. Mm. Did you say crime? Not that I'm interested. I'm sorry. I, I would you be looked mighty with... interested. I, I would be no, concerned I... with uh, that bunch not keeping our inquiries as private as these results should be. So as long as they know it's hush hush. Yeah, I mean, nothing about that. People looking stuff up. But, um, real quick, Jackson, did you find anything out uh, before we go ahead and info dump? Mm, well, something that might be uh, of interest. The, uh, the, the Docking Bay guys, are there. they're a cool bunch. Um, now apparently, there was a VIP in yesterday that caused a bit of a stir in, the, in one of the largest, in Docking Bay 40, um, an Imperial Cutter. Um, okay. Registration IN91214. So it may, this may or right. may not be our, be our person. Probably is. Alrighty. Now, y'all gotta keep a secret. And I'm like, I'm like, little in real close. It's a Jara, the newly elected person to the Senate. Really? That is who? Yes, I saw it. You, Senator. Yes. Now that would cause a stir. Yeah, that it explains the security. Stir, yeah. Anyways, so we found, we did some Google foo, some uh, information hunting. Uh, Mari here did. Um, and we found out that one, I think the spaceship we're looking for is an Imperial carrier. Uh, he, they have not been seen on the station for about three years, and it's a male with blonde hair, quite possibly a family relation. Interesting. He also had cyborg eyes, didn't he? Yeah, I thought so. C cyborg eyes from the Empire. Yeah. I know it's... I know cy cybernetics is not hugely common in the Federation, but the Empire... Um, is even rarer. If this is coming from someone from the Senate, we have to make triply sure we do not fudge any of this up. This would not just be a failed mission. This could be the uh, 
end of our careers. Dismissal of us. The stakes are possibly higher than our employer just mentioned. When you say dismissal, do you mean dismissal of our living status? Well, well, we may not be heard from again. Uh, retired to a farm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to guess. I don't want to think about it, but let's... Right. Well, I ain't no dog to be retired to no farm. Hmm. No, I got, I got retired to a desk. <laughs> I don't want to be retired to no desk either. Uh, I came from... <laughs> I came from either. Farm, so I, I'll retire back to a farm. That's fine. That's where I came from. You don't want to go to the farm if it's the one making Soylent green. That is very true. <laughs> I don't want to become evil. Food. Although, it depends on which door you're going in through. <laughs> Alright, give me a perception test, please, everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Do it. Oh, Ellie crap. with... Oh, man. <laughs> Ellie with the almost flawless rolls so far today. Goodness. Don't you dare say a word! I don't know if you can come <laughs> that one or not. That's terrible. You can't. It's only ones you can re-roll. Well, damn it. Unless, unless you took the uh, the karma ability that lets you re-roll a failed skill test. Uh, which I did not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so perception for Saskia. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can... Your, your excited talking has um, caught the attention of patrons a few tables over, they're sort of looking at you, kind of, quizzically. Uh, whilst, whilst munching on their flatbreads. Can I help you over there? Do you require a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, back to your flatbreads. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sort of shook away and they realise that they're staring. <laughs> and like, and, and start munching and talking amongst themselves again. Those people were raised in a gosh dang bar. Barn, not bar. Dang it, <laughs> I misspeak when I get all flustered, I'm sorry. No, that does raise a point. There are ears everywhere and people do like to chat. Mm, yes. Yeah, but I was afraid there are ears on our communications, so... Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if you really understood my message earlier, but I tried my best with the emojis that I have available to communicate what we've been doing in the noodle bar. But I don't, I don't trust them. I feel like somebody might be reading our messages. Oh, I thought you just meant your noodles had arrived. I see. Mm. <laughs> maybe we need to formalize this somehow. Yeah, maybe we need a code. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, I don't think I'd keep you guys that updated on my... I was on my vis-a-vis -vis noodle. I would. I, I absolutely would, but our noodles had not arrived yet. Yeah. Noodles, speaking of, uh, noodles and uh, Saskia and Jackson's order come to the table. Um, mm, noodles. Yes. Uh, Arith does her, um, does her usual swooping graceful placement and sort of skips off almost... Uh, to fetch the second round and your drinks. Mm -hmm. And soon you are equipped with sustenance and fluid. We love that. You mean? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm. Alrighty, so so I think uh, we can go talk to Phyllis, uh, me and Mara, if you guys wanted to go talk to maybe Flight Control or somebody now that we know what we're looking for. That sounds well, like I'm... a fair proposal. Ooh, wait a second. If everybody has cybernetic eyes, you could look up who maybe has cybernetics who was on the station. Mm -hmm. Could you do that? That could be done, yes. Um, if they had the procedure done here, it's a fair point. Mm -hmm. Why would an Imperial have cybernetic procedure done here? In the Federation. Didn't we find out also that um, the new senator had uh, cybernetic eyes as well? From your uh, gleaning of the information we totally shouldn't have. So yes. I, I, I will then say, also the senator has cybernetic eyes? That's two? 
maybe that it's a family very odd maybe it's like a family thing maybe they were born blind so the senator is in the public eye now if there's any record of where the senator got that procedure done maybe it's part of a biography or whatnot that may give some information about where this other person got them done if it's here or not so uh search engine ahoy i guess all right give me another computer test then whoever's doing that i will do that if that's okay okay would you like anyone to help you Okay, would you like um, anyone I'll, else to help you? I'll ask if Saskia will help, so I'll say, right, I'm going to have a look. Uh, Saskia, can you give me your, your medical eyes? Maybe you'll see something I won't. Uh, so a question for the DM. Does cyber help yeah. here? Because uh, no. so, I have both cyber and medicine at four. Uh, no, cyber would be more... Um... Uh, robotics rather oh, than yes. um, rather than computer use if that makes sense um, yes. so yeah um, you would as a professional for sure be able to tell like the intricacies of the procedures and probably have a stab at guessing why they would need that <laughs> um, and uh, yeah let's oh Wow, nice. I was going to give you plus four for that, so that's like 15. Yes. Yeah, you've you've aced, you've aced that. Uh, yeah. Um, apparently the senator um, has a juvenile retinoschisis. Hmm. And it is an inherited thing. Apparently her, her, uh, her uh, mother had that, and grandmother as well. My theory is that these two are definitely related because they look quite similar and they yeah. both have cybernetic eyes. Mm -hmm. So, I, does so that make sense? So he's either an uncle or a brother. So, does brother my uncle. medical knowledge uh, with the mother and the grandmother and her having a senator, is it only uh, typically female or can we pass down the male um, line as well? No, it would um, it would uh, definitely be something that would affect uh, males and females um, okay. uh, equally. Hmm. Uh, oh no, sorry, what? I've gotten I've gotten my, I've gotten my diseases the wrong way around. Hang on. Oh, it's not juvenile ret uh, retinoschisis. It is uh, Stargardt disease. Um. Okay. Um, and is there any different information about that one? Uh, no, no. That that's that's where I got them mixed up. Um, okay. same. Yeah, same. Same outcome. Uh, ultimately, is that um, it, uh, blindness, quite young. Um, do we know if it's passed down maternally or paternally? Um. Uh, no, it is a um, it is a gene uh, related thing, and it is not related okay. to gender. Okay. okay. Yes. Does that give us something to go on, Saskia? Well, I'm w wondering if there's any specialist uh, stations or hospitals in this region. I would need to uh, check uh, the uh, communication subs, the farms, because I'm not the most familiar with this specialization. Did we get any information when we searched for that about where the procedure was done on the senator? Um, no. Okay. But, uh, Saskia, well, actually, all of you, give me planetary knowledge. Uh, Saskia, you get a plus two because you, um, you're an Imperial, and this person is, uh, is also an Imperial. So, also, check this off as well. I rolled very poorly. You did. Would you like to? Would you like to spend karma to? I re will. That? I will re-roll that if yeah, that's okay. Where's um. Uh. 
Saskia, where's your, uh, where's uh, your ball? Did you say um, plus uh, two above or one above? Sorry. Oh, um, plus two. So um, if you want to uh, just roll 1d10 plus two plus whatever your planetary knowledge bonus is. Um, is uh, slash this... R or just R? Sorry. Uh, slash, slash R. Yeah. Uh, 1d10s uh, plus 2 plus whatever. It's giving me unrecognized command, I'm afraid. So I can oh, okay. click the button, I can, but I can if we can add another you. 2 above, please. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, do that. Um, I'll DM you so, the, the, the do for afterwards. A, a total of 7. Okay, I'll re-roll seven, mine as well. One. Yeah. There we go. Eight. Uh, seven and eight. That's um. That's not actually too bad there. Um, yeah. From your your knowledge, Saskia, in Imperial space, um, you'd be looking um somewhere like Akinar or Cubio as locations for this. This is a really specialized surgery for uh, Imperials. Um, for, um, for, for you though, uh, Jackson, um, this sort of thing would be done more commonly. Um, any really high population federal, um, federal world it is likely to have a medical facility capable of doing this. Um, whether or not um the pilot that you're chasing uh had that procedure done there or in imperial space is another matter uh mara and ellie um uh, i need to double check something real quick where is it there it is um right oh Okay, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, um... You would be reasonably confident, Ellie, that uh, LHS 1547 would be capable of it. Um... And... Mara, you are 100% certain that 82 Eridani would not. They wouldn't have the facilities for that. Okay, okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so we have a lot of information. We just need to direct ourselves now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so. Okay, so uh, forgive me a moment on the communications device. I'm going to send an additional message to my query before asking if uh, that search can include for any records of uh, eye surgeries relating to um, Stargardt's disease. Mm. Yeah, now I, know, now I know that any uh, any adv any suitably advanced uh, federal, federal system would have a hospital capable of doing this. Um, so, particularly some of the richer and uh, higher population systems, um, that will be able to be done. Yeah, my home so, clinic, as... they can do that. I know they yes. can't back home. Definitely not. In the Empire, it would have been done in one of the capital systems, one of the capital planets, with the, the finest specialists, but with them, the, the finest results, of course. Um, I guess we need to know, get a better look at these eyes to know if they're those or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like we gotta get some face time. Yeah. I know certainly cybernetics in the in the Federation tends to uh, add towards functional rather than stylish. Mm. Much to yeah. my disadvantage. Okay. Um, how good was your search roll before? It was really good, wasn't it? When you were looking for um, the second one or the first one? The first one. Uh, I can find I it. Hold on. That down. I can find it. Um, yeah, please. Let me see. 
Uh, it was a 10. Uh, was that a... I was, did you roll a natural 10 a for seven, that? It was a 7, and then plus my skill. Okay, cool. And so, then plus uh, my help, it would be 10. 12. Yeah, so, yeah, a dirty 10, then, plus, plus the 2. Um... Uh... Yeah, I think you could probably... Um... Going off that initial search, you'd have a few pictures of uh, a few close-up pictures of the um, of the senator. Herself. Right, so I'll start. I'll start flicking through those to find yeah, and the clearest you picture would I can for find. For sure, be able to find a clear picture. Um, okay, so of her I'll face. show that then to Saskia. Does this yeah. does this help you identify how good the surgery was? Hmm. The style of the eye itself should do. Uh, damn. Yes, I would like a I would like a medicine or cyber check. Um, if anybody also has um, a medicine or c cyber of three or more, you can add plus two to that. Does anyone have I that? I can help. Okay, plus two, so that's fifteen. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes, um, my cyber. Uh, fifteen. Okay, not as not as not good. As good. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so uh, yeah, you cannot help. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, yeah, this this surgery, uh, Saskia, flawless, and stylizations. You can only tell that they are cybernetic um, because of the um, way that they reflect the light and the illumination uh, internally. Uh, so there's like a, a, a the, the camera lens as an iris, that was the, like the initial clue. Um, but the particulars, um, yeah, these, these things, y you if you'd glanced at them, you wouldn't have noticed. Um, hmm. It's only through your collective um, good searching and keen eyes, ironically, that um, you have uh, you have all detected that these were cybernetic in the first place. Um, but yeah, these these are not these are not federal <laughs> federal <laughs> implants at all. These have been these these have probably cost millions of credits. Um, yes. Uh, these these sadly looking they really, really do look imperial. This is the finest work. I I can't imagine they were done here on this side of the border. One thing does come to mind though, friends, in that the surgery may have been done in Imperial space, but I wonder if there's someone here who has been responsible for checkups every so often. Uh I'm thinking. I wonder if I can track down the eye specialist, the uh, the ophthalmist here, and uh, have a chat. That's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna because we're getting close to our ending point. Um, I'll do these last two checks, um, sort of semi in character, just to just to speed things up a touch. Um, now. You are going to split up. Um, one one group is going to go for the flight control, and the other group. What were you up to? I uh, wanted to go talk to the engineers. Ah. And I don't know if the other group wanted to go to the flight control. I suggested that, so let me make let's make sure they actually want to do that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think Jackson probably. Um, has had some dealings with flight control? Un undoubtedly. Um, you were posted here for a long time. Yep. Um, or getting retired. Um, and uh, which engineers you chatting to, or were hoping to chat to, sorry, uh, Ellie? I really want to chat to Phyllis. Okay. Phyllis. She's been around here for a while. She know what a <laughs> okay. Uh, and you're after doing that. So you're going for a, a, uh, now a three-way split, I presume. 
Yeah, I'll go. I, I feel like Mara shouldn't go talk to flight control because last time she tried to <laughs> land, she may have scraped the landing gear a little bit on the way in because she was flying a little bit too fast. So uh -huh. they don't really like her too much. So I'm going to say I'll go with Ellie again. <laughs> okay. I have the um, self-awareness to realize they probably would be a bit annoyed at me. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, all right. So, um, Jackson, uh, you can leverage your military bonus uh, for this, for sure. Um, Saskia, uh, I think you could probably leverage your empire bonus in this regard well. Um, particularly if you manage to find another Imperial. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, outstanding. Uh, yeah, you can for sure use your Empire bonus. Um, now. Oops. Um, okay, let's resolve Saskia first. Uh, I'm gonna want either a... oh, where's your sheet gone? Oh no, that's the wrong window. Um, <laughs> I, need, I need more reliable ways of identifying my uh, windows here. There you are. It's, okay, there we go. Now, um... Yeah, I will have please from you either bluff, charm, if you're trying to woo someone into this, diplomacy, uh, or intimidate if you're trying to scare them. Hey, charm. Please. Um, okay. Um. So. Uh, and this is. Ooh, nice. Hmm. Outstanding. Yeah, you uh, you managed to find um one of the optometrists, uh, and flirt with them <laughs> how how do you how do you go about the interaction roughly oh my words looking at your setup here wow you certainly know your stuff don't you hmm I don't nerd know about them with your them. Setup. Hmm. nice nerd flirting with them I like it okay um and yeah, that's a 10. Beats my DC. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, it's understandably extremely rare to have anyone come in with um, cybernetic ocular implants. Um, let me see how helpful they are going to be. Oh, not as helpful as you probably would have liked. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, they, uh, they do, the info, they do confirm, um, that they've worked on, uh, worked with, I should say, um, Pilots Federation pilot, um, very, uh, very pleasant, pleasant chap to deal with. Meets meets the uh, the description you have, and if I can find it, uh, where is the oh oh uh, yeah, and it is oh hello. Yeah, it is um, Leonard Armager. Uh, didn't actually um, go have a call sign, just Leonard Armager. Mm. Uh, Pilots Federation pilot um, got up to uh, got up to deadly in combat. Apparently, I haven't haven't been seen for a while. Um, it's a pity. Indeed, indeed. I would have uh, loved to see such handiwork up close. Hmm. Yeah, they... How long do they keep you going on? 
yeah, they keep you for a long time going, uh, going over the particulars of those implants. You get a lot of detail out of it, but it does tie you up for at least an hour. Um, okay, Jackson. Um, I think I'm going to your... go with diplomacy. Okay, even though yep. it's not the highest, but okay, here we go. Oh dear. Oh. Um, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's going rolled again. I thought you might. Oh. <laughs> can we get okay. some? If, if you okay. if you've got if you've got some, can you can we get some adventure fails in chat, oh, please? God. <laughs> roll roll twenty. <laughs> That's. <laughs> oh my god. How many more karma points do you have? Two. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be wrapping up soon-ish, uh, right. if you want to spend them on that, Yeah, there goes means. another one. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> no! What? No! <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> oh, no. Three? That's... <laughs> for Three those, in who, a for those of you who are listening, Brother Sabathius has just rolled three ones in a row. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, oh man. My goodness. Roll, roll that is brutal. Come are you gonna on, okay. are you gonna try one last time? Last chance. <laughs> it's a one you can re-roll That's it. Better. Nice. Okay, <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally we got it. Oh man. Oh, Only took four rolls. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, roll twenty. I'm gonna have to know how you screw up initially, and then <laughs> this is gonna have to be a like a super embarrassing error. Oh, what well, happens I, 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 I can, before I saving you, before saving kind of face? Tripping up as he goes through the door. Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> like, like tripping over as he goes through the door, landing in a heap. Oh. Does <laughs> does does your arm damage something on the way down? Yeah, it probably <laughs> like scratches the the yeah, scratches the uh, floor tiles or something. Oh, Oh, I, actually, no, I tell you what, it doesn't just scratch the floor tiles, it kicks the floor tiles up and shoots them across the room. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this titanium, this titanium fist, yeah. getting, you know, plowing through as you open the door and face plant <laughs> immediately as, as you walk inside. Oh, and, oh good God. Yeah, the flight, <laughs> the flight control in. office, you know, startle and look around at you mm. before someone begins helping you up. Um, oh good okay. God! I'm, I'm I'm so sorry about that. I didn't I didn't see that sticking up from the floor there. Uh, I, oh, I do apologise about oh, the about damn, the floor there. Man. Uh, here, let me yeah. uh, let me help you with that. Yeah, um, Mr. West, you've really uh, you've really done a number on the floor here, man. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I, I I do apologise. Um, yeah, but, it's uh, not uh, not your finest hour. At least it wasn't a starship. Well, I how can we? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. How can we um, help you today? F filing a flight plan? Uh, not today. No, no. I'm. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, one of you may, you may have a little bit of a little bit of extra information. There's a, a particular ship that was um, that came into land yesterday. That um, um, uh, we we have need of a little, a little bit of um, a little bit of info on. Um, I can All assure right. you. But we, you know, we know this is kind of hush hush, so I can I can assure you, your name will not be tied anywhere near this. So nobody will know where, where I got this from. But it's the. Uh... Uh, I can't. Mm, I can't do you too many favors, but mm. uh, here's a flight log. Okay. Uh, let me uh, let me do that for you. I okay. make sure I've got detailed records of all the flight logs that come in and out of this in and out of this station. You know, system security are very keen to look at these regularly. Uh, and he he goes about um, doing uh, grabbing those. This is someone you would have dealt hmm. with before. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Shani Zura. Um... 
Oh, whoops. A, um... Oh, hello. Thank you. This is, uh, yeah, um... A, a, wir a wiry but uh, fit, um... Fit looking guy. Um, spends most of his time not in flight control itself, but in the flight office. Uh, which has a lot more gravity than flight control. Flight control itself, because it's right next to the center axis of the station, virtually zero gravity at all. Mm. Uh, he has the luxury of working somewhere where there's uh, some force pushing him outwards and onto the ground, at least. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, you've, had, you've had dealings with this chap before. Um... And yeah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, light skinned, um, blonde hair, grey eyes, um, and gives you the flight records. Give me a perception test, please. In before another one. Okay. I was going to say. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Please don't yeah. do that to me. Uh, it's a failure, though, alas. Um, oh. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you have now the um, the uh, flight logs for mm -hmm. INV Shanak. Um, and its ultimate destination is Cubio. It's, um, yeah. Right. Oh, well, Shani, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for that. That is, oh, um, you're, that, you're that welcome. Be, uh, that could be You very want me to useful. send you the tab for new floor tiles? Oh, Man. yeah, 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 yeah. Send, uh, send that over. I'll be able to, um, we'll yeah, be, we'll be able to sure, that sure. It's not the worst then, we've uh, had to deal with, but, uh, yeah. hey, yeah, if you, if you, if you, uh, can... if you ever want another, another shipment of those, uh, special deliveries, just let me know. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, you're, you're most kind. Thank you. Mm, that won't be on me. All right. Right on. Um, so, um, now, uh, and lastly, Mara and Ellie having a chat to Phyllis over engineering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I imagine okay, I like. Okay, same same choice for 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 you both. Uh, in in that um, you can you can use uh, bluff, charm, diplomacy, or intimidate. Up to you. I will... I'm going to leave most of the talking to Ellie because she's talking shop, but I will do my best to be... Uh, I'll use charm, and I'll be trying to be, like, polite and, you know, ah, friendly. Charm is for, is for wooing people. You oh. are after diplomacy for convincing people. Okay. Then maybe yeah. I'll flirt with Phyllis. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I'll be a little flirty. <laughs> um, um, Get it. All right. Um, um e Ellie, I'm going to make the presumption you are not trying to flirt with Phyllis. Right. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not trying to flirt with Phyllis. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've uh, shot my shot with uh, Ferris and uh, Tara both. Um, have not mm -hmm. received... Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. Um... Yeah, Phyllis is a very talented technician. Um, she is in her early 50s. Um, she's got uh, dyed black hair, grey eyes, fair skin. Really, really fit. She works out a ton. And she works out so oh, maybe much. I will. <laughs> um, <laughs> That'll be the angle but, uh, I go from, like, no, oh, you work out. Um, <laughs> oh, look at those arms. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, she uh, she is. All right, let me let me have a look. Actually, see how responsive she. Oh dear. <laughs> she looks over her glasses at uh, at Mara, and you can see the wry smile. But she doesn't say anything. She just keeps looking at you. 
and I just kind of <laughs> smile awkwardly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ellie leans in and it's just like, it's just like, I hate to break up this uh, connection y'all have here, but uh, I was uh, looking for a, a bit of uh, information on an Imperial Cutter piloted by a man named Leonard. A, a cutter or a courier? The cutter was the one that came oh, yesterday. Courier. The courier, yeah, the courier was the, the courier. one that you have the photo of him in, with mm-hmm. uh, with the now senator. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, the courier. Courier. Okay, yeah. Um. Well, Ellie, nice of you to drop by. Mara, you need to work on your chat up lines. They're awful. That's fair. But amusing. I don't, I don't get. I out haven't. Much. I haven't been hit on in years. Ha! And she she sort of slaps <laughs> slaps the table and stands up, um, and then she she sort of returns to her jo- more jovial self. Um, yeah, she um, she is obviously of imperial ilk, uh, but doesn't care for politics or anything like that. She has made that abundantly clear many times. Um, and yeah, she is, um, did you roll your diplomacy? I didn't. I will roll that now. Am I yeah, adding please. anything to it? Uh, what? nope. But your DC is, is super low because she was so bemused by, uh, Mara's attempt at flirting. And, um, <laughs> yeah, you've, you've nailed that. Um, I softened yeah, her up for you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, your flirting was so bad it gave the diplomacy a bonus, <laughs> legit. That sounds about right for my real life too. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so um yeah. Um she does have some records. Um and gives you a name for the ship. Uh and she she butchers. Um, the pronunciation. I, th- I think it's uh, tab 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 tabsy. Uh, uh, argid or something, something like that. No, argid, argid, argid. It, no, look at this, look at this. And she um and she she writes it out for you. It's uh T A B H S E uh A I R G E A D. Pronounced Tabsha Argage. Ah uh, Tabsha Argage. Okay, get it. Uh arg- oh sorry, arg- Argyad. I got that I got that arg- pronunciation slightly wrong. Yeah, Argyad. Yeah. And you know what? It's real hard. I won't judge you. Um, we got it. (laughs) Yeah. Um, that was a mighty fine ship, even if it was held together with spit and baler twine at times. Um, that man flew it like uh, he flew it like he'd stolen it. Honestly. Um, maybe he did. I I don't judge. I don't care as long as as long as security don't come knocking at my door. I don't mind. Do you have and, yeah. record of his last flight? Ooh, I don't have record of his last flight myself. Um, but he was he did have he did have the engines replaced, but in some enhanced performance thrusters he'd managed to. Koto from um, Felicity Farsia herself, believe it or not. And those things are fast. Those things are real fast. Oh man. Do we know who Felicity is? Yeah, she's the engineer. <laughs> um, oh, like I the we were talking the to her. like. No, no, no. Uh, Phyllis is uh, Phyllis is engineering um. on this station. Felicity Farsia is the. Um, is the the engineer engineer as a title, not just as a job? Um, yeah, though Felicity Farsia is is one of the preeminent experts in the entire galaxy 
for frameshift drive technology. She is really, kind of a really, deal. really good. Yeah. Oh, dang, yeah. how did he get a hold of those? Well, I suppose mm, probably sweet talked her into them. Sweet talked everyone mm. else into what he needed. So he's much me. better at flirting than me, then. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to be so honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine, Mara. You're fine. Um, she, she, I'm gonna... she, she gives you gives you like a a, 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 a soft punch to the shoulder. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to that, so I'm pretty. I'm like okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm gonna send out um, the ship the ship call name on the chat. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so Jackson knows uh, what to look for. Yep. As far as the most recent flight pattern for that one. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little like emoji of a spaceship. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I'm assuming you're all going to meet up after this. Mm -hmm. Uh, where are you gonna do it? I vote bar. Yes. Bar. <laughs> okay. Bar. Bar. I send a complicated um, series of emojis involving alcohol. Yeah. Um, what kind of bar? I vote alcohol. dingy bar. <laughs> alcohol. alcohol. Yes, alcohol. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, out of the way bar, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah somewhere right. quiet, but... Uh, I think Lloyd, insofar as there's people won't overhear you talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I will have then another planetary knowledge roll from everyone. Oh. Yeah. Um, Not bad. Planetary. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're just. <sighs> <laughs> oh, doing so good. Brother Sabathius has rolled yet another one. Get wrecked, uh, Jackson. But thankfully, it doesn't matter too much on this. We've got like three other people who have beaten oh, the DC Jesus. on that, so you're fine. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe maybe Jackson doesn't usually frequent CD bars. It's <laughs> 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 prob probably why he doesn't know any. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you have a couple of options, um, and I think you go for this um, this nameless bar, like tucked away uh, next to a public convenience. Um, it, it's, it's known colloquially as the bar down that alley, um, and is run by uh, another Imperial who refuses to give his name, big burly man with a massive beard, um, who just insists on everyone calling him Barman. That's it. He's the sort. He's the sort of chap that will serve you drinks happily with a smile, and then throw you out personally if you get too rowdy. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you have a quiet table. Quiet table. It's it's a it's a it's a pretty raucous place. There's plenty of people chatting and cheering and um, and and occasionally Basky getting sloshed. Prepared. Yeah. Uh, it's the sort of place that would cheer loudly if someone dropped a glass behind the bar. <laughs> um, okay, share your info with each other, not anyone else. Yeah. Well, good, um, good news from flight control. Uh, I have a flight plan. Uh, was this um, that's called? Was this for the courier? This was for the cutter. The cutter. Yes. Right. The VIP yeah. that visited yesterday. Right. So they, yeah, the, the, um, the cutter, the VIP that visited yesterday, their flight plan uh, is for Cubio. So that they're is uh, good. heading back to one of the capital worlds. Mm. For those who don't know, Cubio is one of the biggest and most important star systems in the Empire. I mean, that probably gives us a lead on where the surgery was done. <laughs> Undoubtedly, that would be... I would, I would think that would be one of the places to go for that kind of thing. 
particularly for senators. That would be correct. Mm. <clears throat> well, I did get the, uh, the the name as messaged out. We are looking for a Leonard Armager. And I also got the number of a very talented ophthalmologist, but uh, that's aside the point. One bit of information about Leonard. He was deadly ranked in combat. So it'd be very, very unlikely for it to be an accidental standard piloting error for someone that ex experience mm. just a guess mm. just a guess we got the name um, of a ship that i can't pronounce yeah it's a tabashi i said it out it, it's <laughs> it useless it, i can't i yeah. can't do it don't that's even make it, me try. that's what we sent that's what ellie sent in in our uh, in our group chat yeah i, I don't know yeah. yeah. how to say it yeah top top yeah. shit argued yeah uh, i'm not no nope, we'll never know <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll never know this is both in character and out of character will never be able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ever. an intimidating it's an intimidating name to look at, that's for sure. Um but I bet uh, we yeah. could get the last flight of that and then retrace its steps and see if we can find it. Then there should be all the information you need for tracking, you know, standard flight plans from place to place. Good work everyone. Yes, well done. Mm-hmm. We went from a name to all the information we needed to do this mission. Guys, we are now rookies. We're awesome. <laughs> we Jeez. are awesome. Oh, we're getting there. I think they... I have a whole bottle. Hard <laughs> oh, yet to come, I fear. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Uh it will be fine. We'll be fine. Um, oh, can, I, can I ask one last question, though, Mara? What, what, what does the rabbit mean? If you don't know that already, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, Roger that. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, uh, we'll work it out. He doesn't at some know point. about the rabbit. He doesn't know about the rabbit. I guess he doesn't know about the rabbit. Why well, does he? Is he noundy? No, I think he might be. No, I'm 30. He's 90. I just look like I'm I mean, 90. <laughs> if you were 30, you'd know about the rabbit. I'll tell you what. I've been in the Navy for t <laughs> Navy for 15 years. A Navy ages you 50 years. Uh, no, exploding uh, rifles ages 50 years. <laughs> ah. Well, now, see, now, now we're just making light of your disability, and I feel bad. <sighs> All right, and at that, I think we'll end the session. Congratulations, everybody. So, we um, survived so far. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, right. Khan has uh, not killed us yet. Uh, well, I mean, it's not for roll 20s like a trine. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> I have I know, never So, just I've, Jackson. Oh, many yeah, ones? I have, I've been. Ones. I've been Five GMing rolls. for like nine years now. I have never seen somebody roll like the lowest possible three rolls in a row <laughs> that and was four, just four rude. rolls out of five yeah yep. that was that was just absolutely just unacceptable for sure <laughs> um okay so uh now i've got a thing that i need to do real fast with the music ah yeah there we are that's the one i Again, because I'm getting used to this playlist, I'm not fully familiar with what sounds like what yet. So I've got to look it up on my list before I hit the go button. Okay. Now, let's do end of session stuff. Now, like last, uh, like last time in Empire, um, we had a bit at the end of the sessions where you would give a uh, bonus or a malice to somebody that you got on with as a character or didn't get on with as a character during the session for any reason um, that your character would um, hello it makes sense for your character so I'll start off with Brother Sabathius 
uh, because he's Ooh. done this before, and this okay. this time it'll be a uh, it'll be a plus or minus one. Uh, because right. you know, uh, it, when we're rolling d tens, a plus or minus five is a bit much. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, tell um, tell us about who you are, uh, what you do, where we can find you, and right. um, before that, actually, let's do the let's do the plus or minus one first, and then give okay. you an outro. Um, oh, very very difficult. Um, yeah, it's very very difficult for the first one. So mm. I think plus one would go. Let me see who would be. Um, I think plus one to Saskia. Okay, why? Um, uh, despite um, slight mistrust of, of the Imperial background, um, co coming from Navy, uh, mm. she is showing that she is completely on the group's side. So he's, you know, appreciate you know he really appreciates uh, loyalty. So, uh -huh. cool, awesome. Um, outstanding, thank you very much for that. Uh, yes, mm. and about yourself. Right, um, otherwise I'm Brother Sabathius, and you can normally find me over on um, twitch.tv, brother underscore Sabathius, uh, where I'll be um, flying around the Elite Dangerous, uh, sailing the Sea of Thieves, uh, building Lego, making some costume stuff, um, and generally trying to have a good time. So uh, if you ever want to drop in, please do so, you'd be most welcome. Awesome, thank you very much, Brother Sabathius. Uh, Dr. K. Ross. Hello, yes. Uh, so, the the plus one or the minus one, I would like to mm. give a plus one as well, please, but to Mara, for working Ooh. closely with me on the Google Foo, on uh, <laughs> trying to get, get this information, this CSI enhanced, to, uh, which you know, <laughs> cracked mm. the rest of the pass through for the information. So that that is... Uh, uh, some impressive uh, use of knowledge of the tech and knowledge of how things work up here. So, um, yeah, Saskia really appreciates that. Spot on. Awesome. And about yourself? Oh, yes. Who am I? Good question. So, I'm Kay. Um, on Twitch is Dr. K. Ross. Not a medical doctor this time, but um, ex mm -hmm. Um I play retro stuff, modern stuff, often a co-op things. Uh, most of all, I try to garner a chill and open uh, community, and yeah, it's it's why I'm here and streaming. So yeah, so please come by anytime you wish. You're very welcome anytime, and thank you for having me here. Spot on. Thank you so much, um, Psyche. Okay, um, I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to give a plus one. Um, mm -hmm. If I could give an IRL plus one, I, I would I would give it to Kay because uh, the flirting worked on me as well. <laughs> <laughs> but my character uh... wasn't present for that, so I feel it doesn't count. So I'll give the plus one to Ellie for letting me trail around after her because I felt a little bit lost. And Mara is uh, very much a pick an authority figure and follow them around, and that's that's the authority figure we listen to. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and give Ellie that plus one. Spot on, thank you. And about yourself? Uh, so my name is Psyche. Uh, I have been playing Mara Murphy this evening. I stream Space Sandbox and Story Games, and I do that four days a week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at twitch.tv forward slash Psyche. And you can find me on pretty much all other social media as Psyche Plays. Uh, so yeah, if you want to come hang out some weekday, I would love to have you. Spot on. Thank you so much, Psyche. Uh, Taco Trash Can. Alrighty, um, I think Ellie is going to give her plus one to Mara. She hasn't had very many friends, and so the fact that Mara wants to even be her friend, like, she's just <laughs> like, ah, friends? Um, so yes, yeah, so that's why uh, that's going there. And um, yeah, I'm Taco Trash Can. You can find me on Twitch taco trash can and um i do some uh, variety of games and i do zillow reviews you know i just pretty much just try to have a good fun time and try to make people laugh <laughs> outstanding thank you very much taco trash can and <laughs> i'm astacon i have been your games master and guide today uh thank you again everybody for bearing with us whilst um roll 20 did us huge disservice uh, a little earlier because we were trying to go live and failing miserably. Um, 
Yes, uh, it's been awesome getting my teeth stuck into this system. I've been wanting to play this for years, and I finally have an excuse to do so, and hopefully you've all found it super entertaining. Uh, more shenanigans I have planned. Uh, for them. Yes, more shenanigans I have planned for this group uh, in the near future. Uh, we'll, we, we will be back next week um, for episode two. We have also Rising Tide, uh, no, Dark Water, uh, which way around does it go? Rising Tide, Dark Water, there we are. I keep, I've been, we've been planning this show for months and I still keep getting them the wrong way around. Um, yes, um, and uh, yeah, Rising Tide Dark Water, which is coming soon, that will be the uh, Vassen system. Um, and I am super excited to show everyone uh, that when it arrives. I I'm I'm not I'm not in that one, um, but it's going to be great. And on October the second, we've got episode six of Daybreak City Nights as well. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else I need to say. Oh yeah, about me. That's that's also a, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Astacon. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Astacon, SoundCloud slash Astacon, where you can listen to the theme song of this show, Blackbird. Um, I didn't have a copy suitable for playing during interstitials, unfortunately, uh, because my export got corrupted. Uh, but next week, uh, hopefully we'll have some tinkly pianos to play during the show as well. Um, and uh, Twitter, AstaconTM. Uh, please also do follow uh, the um, Venture Tavern Twitter as well, which is Adventure Tavern, uh, to keep up to date for when we're going live, um, shows, uh, dates, and those uh, sorts of shenanigans. Yeah! Okay, um, thank you again. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and raid somebody. Let's see who's online doing some... Ooh, let's see. Let's see. I might send you all over to an Elite Dangerous streamer, but none of them are on. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, all of, the, all of the Elite Dangerous people I'm following aren't playing Elite this evening, of course. So, there is somebody, though, that I look up to and respect greatly uh, that is doing some spacey shenanigans, so we'll send you there. They also do tabletop games, and they are an excellent beam. So here is your raid text, uh, and we're going to go say hi to Katie Peters Plays, because she's doing <coughs> No Man's Sky, and she's also cool as heck. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Um, yes, tune in next week for episode two. Um, no doubt I will have uh, an excuse to perhaps even throw some combat at people next week. Uh -oh. We shall see. Oh. Uh, I'm not good uh, yeah, at that. It, it, uh, it depends entirely on entirely on the casting character's actions, though. So, again, have a pleasant. Thank you very much for popping by, and we will see you soon. Goodbye.